Good afternoon, NCRGEA family. This is Jessica Proctor, a member of your association government affairs team, and welcome to our weekly legislative update. A busy week it was. I'm going to throw out a couple of headlines, some really good news for our state. North Carolina, yet again, will be in a multi-billion dollar surplus going into this budget year. A uh, budget should come out around June. The Speaker of the State House has already said that there is a priority in raising law enforcement salaries and other key employment salaries in state government. Um, we have seen a surplus now this is the third year, and it is quite a compliment to what should be around a $28 billion budget for the 23-24 year. Second thing, Medicaid expansion, a hot issue in North Carolina for a dozen years. A bill expanding Medicaid passed the House with enormous bipartisan support and now heads to the Senate. It gets a little meatier when it gets to the Senate because the Senate is looking at more comprehensive legislation that would include certificate of need repeal and some other items. So we'll see where that goes. But right now, it looks like Medicaid expansion very well may happen. We are in North Carolina, only one of 11 states nationwide that has not expanded Medicaid. Um, looking to come, I think you'll see in the next couple of weeks, a uh, revisit to the discussion about medical marijuana. The North Carolina Compassion Care Act is going to be coming back to discuss, and that, of course, is to provide medical marijuana for people ailing with diseases such as cancer and other ailments. Both bills to eliminate get taxes on government retirees are both still very much alive and moving. Um, there's some interesting other bills coming down. We as your lobby team had many, 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 many meetings in the building this week, and we always continue to love serving you. Thank you so much. Enjoy your weekend.